Well, it's North Carolina's largest early child development program, and it is expanding to give more children a head start in life. Guilford Child Development announced plans this morning to open shop in the next few weeks on the campus of Bennett College. Fox 8's Aaliyah Sims joins us live from the campus. Aaliyah, were you able to get a look inside? Yeah, Natalie, we were able to tour this facility earlier today, and all three classrooms are ready for students to come inside and learn. Now, organizers have some final touches to finish up before these doors can open. But the goal here is to get infants, toddlers, and preschool age children a head start so they can be ready for school later. Children, you know, are open books. And if you can pour in that knowledge to them if they're in that environment, and this center is going to do just that. The Martin Dixon Intergenerational Center on the campus of Bennett College will provide Head Start, Early Head Start, and NC Pre-K programs for children in Guilford County. It's through a partnership between Bennett College and Guilford Child Development. It's an exciting opportunity. I, there's so much innovation behind you know, bringing together a, a, an adult education, higher education facility. Inside these doors are three classrooms for 18 four-year-olds, 17 three-year-olds, and eight two-year-olds. It's a free federally funded program for 43 parents who have children with disabilities and for those who meet the income requirements. Parents who are working and, and barely making ends meet, oftentimes those children get left behind. Oftentimes they don't have access to high quality services, preschool services for their children. And that's what this allows us to do. There are eight teachers who will oversee the facility. They say this program will be a springboard for young children as they prepare for success in both school and life. Senator Gladys Robinson says the program comes at a time where children have dealt with a learning loss because of COVID and a learning gap. It is so critical uh, and it's going to help close that gap. You know, they won't go into third grade with a the gap. They will go in ready to learn uh, when they hit the public school system. Uh, and so we won't see that gap for the children who will come here. Now, although some students are already enrolled, they can't physically come to this building until it opens, which leaders are expecting to happen by mid-October. But until then, they will be able to learn virtually. So for more information about this program or to see if your family qualifies, you can contact Guilford Child Development, and there will be family advocates to walk you through that process. Live in Greensboro, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 8 News.